All right, for the background of your notan, you're going to be um, using a pouring method to paint the background. So first thing you're going to do is write your name on the paper, and you're going to turn that paper over so that your name is now on the back. Then we need to dry stretch our paper. So you're going to take masking tape and measure a piece slightly longer than the edge, and then I just stick the two ends on my desk. I do that four times. And then I pass the roll of tape to the other students at my desk so they can use it. Okay, when you dry stretch, remember that wherever the tape goes, the paint will not be. So you want to tape your paper down evenly on all four sides. Because when you take the tape off the paper, you'll have a nice white frame along the edge. Okay, then you're going to write your name on the masking tape so that I know whose project this is. Okay, for the pouring method, we're using watered-down acrylic paint. So you need to consider what we learned about color theory. When colors touch and overlap, they're going to mix. So think about what your three primary colors can mix to create secondary colors or tertiary colors. Remember that complementary colors, when they mix, make brown. Um, so if you don't want brown in your artwork, then you need to be careful not to let complements touch. So um, the way that we do the pouring method. You're going to take your brush and you're going to paint water on the surface. This is similar to how we did our bleeding tissue paper. So you want a good amount of water and you should see it still kind of puddling on the surface. Then you're going to take your paints and you're going to drip them in small um, areas at a time. So I'm going to work with warm colors for this example. So this is going to kind of be a tie-dye effect. And the water on the paper is going to make the paints disperse throughout. And this method uh, is kind of most successful when you just let the colors go naturally on their own instead of trying to control it with a paintbrush. Uh, we just kind of let it become its own work of art. And it is okay that there's white paper showing because these colors are going to bleed. You could tip your board and kind of let the colors fill more space. But if you notice, I'm not using the paintbrush anymore. I'm just letting that kind of become its own work of art. And I really do not want that paint on there too thick. Um, so it shouldn't have a really, really thick puddle. Um, it should be kind of a thin layer of paint. So I could leave it like this if I want to, but what becomes really interesting with pouring is when you start to apply texture items to the surface. So you've got a variety of items to work with. Um, if you're going to use a bubble wrap, make sure you put the bubbly side touching the paint. I'm going to kind of press that into the paint. I've got items like lace and burlap. This is just some kind of hairy string this is yarn that had kind of fringe on it. Uh, there's cardboard that you could turn upside down to have the stripes to make a print, and there's this netting that you could put on the surface. So um, just by pressing it down with your hand is not enough to get a good print because you can see it's not really going to stick. So what we end up doing is take a piece of wax paper, we lay the wax paper down over the top, and then we use a textbook to weight it down. And that's going to dry overnight. So now all my textures are compressed. 
um, tomorrow when I take your projects out of the drying rack. I take off the book, I take off the wax paper, I remove the texture items, and then you're left with a really cool texture left inside your color. So that's how we're going to go about doing the background of our no tans. Remember that um, you need to have a plan before you start because your no tan is going to be cut out of colored construction paper and then it needs to contrast with the colors you pick um, in your background. So because I did warm colors in my background, I might choose construction paper that's a cool color or white or black so that it will contrast.